DLT, the ETF, which gives you that kind of retail exposure. We had, we had a correction, okay? A cor I like corrections. Do you know where we're trading? We're trading at like 2004, 2005 levels, 180 to 100. I love, I love that kind of correction. We've taken out all of the deflation. Now, let's be serious for a moment, you know. The TLT or the, it, the, the ultra long bonds as a price chart, it should be a flat line on the basis that rates arguably just should really change over that period. But actually, I think what we've discovered, because we've had, we've had def profound deflationary pressure, right, which hasn't been resolved. Again, I would say to you, bring up a chart of Citigroup or any of these mega banks from the past. M the system, listen. I can hear quiet, gentle sounds. The money system is broken. I mean, look at Goldman Sachs, oh my God, you know. I've lived long enough to see the humbling of, you know, of money. If, if the money system is broken, do the, do the tailwinds for the gold bugs continue in 2023? Well, you know, gold is, gold is a remarkably silly asset. Gold is nihilism. It's like when you come and you wish to reject the insanity of the system, you say, you know what? I trust gold, it's the craziest thing. Gold is telling you, if you look at a very, very long-term chart of gold, it is telling you something very powerful. And I don't think it's smart, I, I think you've got to be smart to try and interpret it. What is it telling you? It's telling you that the system needs negative real rates. Now, gold and every other currency by the dollar, new highs, new highs of confirmation, give you legitimacy to, to think wild things. And do dollar price gold is so close. And when you've had something that's been contained for a long time, if that goes, so here's something, I don't get to make the rules, okay? But at the same time, I might have, look, so let's, let's do a- Just imagine if you did. Let, well, can you imagine? <laughs> like, can you imagine, like, if it yes, wasn't the Fed? please make the rules, Hugh. Okay. Please, you <laughs> yeah, do it. We've, we've rav they've ravaged, they've plundered the system, okay? Let's try something different to our fair sister, the markets into capitalism, you know? Let's try. Let's try and actually understand money. Hey, but so, the, the, yeah, tell me. Well, I was gonna say, okay, so don't own stocks, gun to your head, you own TLT, gold stinks. How do I make any money anymore? Like, I, I, if I'm not gonna get any social security, I'm not gonna get any Medicare, Medicaid eventually, because we're all gonna go bankrupt. Like, where do I, what do I do? Am I sitting in cash in a bathtub? <laughs> Yeah, I, I enjoy the buff, um, <laughs> but the, uh, is this compulsion to do something? To, you know, you, the markets want it now. Yes. They want it now, they're impatient. You know, so, and the market's like, we're just trading where we were last, last summer. We're, this is just a noisy market. But to your point, actually, what I was saying, I, I think you misunderstood. And you're right to misunderstand, because this doesn't make any sense what I'm gonna say, that was a surprise. I'm gonna say to you, at the same time, I'd maybe have like two thirds of a, like a, let's call it a model portfolio, okay. I'd have 15, I would own gold, I had 15% in gold, because if it cracks, if it cracks that ceiling, boom, I want to be there. And do you know what? I would actually probably have 25% in equities. Hmm. Why not, right? And do you know the weirdest thing? I don't, I don't own the commodity equities. I mean, anything in that agricultural space, like Mosaic, CF Industries, I would own big oil, 